Now, the next philosophy, an idea in object-oriented programming is polymorphism. Now, this sounds like a big and scary word, but to be honest with you, it just means many forms. And in fact, polymorphism happens in everyday life. Now, in programming, we have the plus sign, and particularly in JavaScript, the plus sign or the plus operator polymorphs depending on the data that it's given. It adapts. So whenever you think of polymorphism, think of adaptation, changing its behavior depending on the data it's given. So for example, the plus operator in JavaScript can add two numbers together. Well, that's fine. Now the polymorphism bit comes in when you start giving it other data. For example, you could also give it two strings. Now we haven't changed the operator, we're still using the plus operator, but this time we have two strings. And in JavaScript that will concatenate, meaning join together those two strings. Likewise, I could have a string and on the other side of the operator I could have a number. What will happen? is JavaScript will turn that number into a string and it will concatenate those two strings together. This is polymorphism. It changes its behavior depending on what circumstances we throw at it. Likewise, if I created a function and the function took two values that I pass into that function and that function, let's say, has argument A and argument B. Now, if I called that function and gave it two numbers, it added those numbers together. Likewise, if I took two strings and passed those two strings, one into A and one into the B argument, and the function simply converted that into one large string. And finally, for the last scenario or circumstance I'll put this function under, I shall pass in a number and a string. And what it will do is it will convert the number into a string and then it will concatenate the strings together, producing one string. This means that the function changed its behavior depending on the circumstances we threw at it. We threw three different circumstances at this function and it changed its behavior. It adapted to the data that we gave it. Now, in terms of object orientation, we'll take a look at polymorphism in the overriding lecture. But for right now, all I want you to do is remember that polymorphism just means many forms. So, many circumstances or many forms of data. And when we chuck that circumstance to, let's say, our function, and it handles those different circumstances very well, and it doesn't error, then our code is polymorphing, adapting to the data and circumstances. And also, please do note, polymorphism doesn't just apply to object orientation. It can apply to procedural programming. For example, you're just writing standard variables and functions, but in object orientation, it will take on a little bit of a different meaning, but we'll have a look at that at a later date.